Good afternoon guys, um, today we're going to talk about how we make a cappuccino. So first thing we're going to do, uh, take the steam wand and switch it on and this is called purging. Um, so we'll let any water that might have um, backed up inside there um, out, uh, which is going to help us form the milk successfully. Um, so we're going to pour some milk into our stainless steel jug, or our foaming jug. And then we're going to put the wand directly into the centre of the jug. And then when we switch it on, we're going to raise the jug. And, well, we raise the wand up and we're going to lower the jug down. So the wand's in the middle and we're slightly lowering it down. So you shouldn't get that horrible squealing noise. You get a nice bullabula noise you can hear now. And raise the wand up with the milk as it's boiling. And your hand should be on the side of the jug. And once that gets too hot, then count to five and turn the steam wand off. And then your milk should be ready then. Don't overheat it um, because you'll burn the milk and it won't froth. So hit the milk down on the bottom. That just brings all the foam up to the top and separates it away from milk. And the next most important thing is wipe down the steam wand. If you wipe that thing down straight away, you won't have to keep cleaning it and scrubbing it every single day. That's my little pet hate. Always wipe the steam wand down after you've used it. Okay, so we're going to take our cappuccino cup now, um, and now we're going to um, produce the espresso. So we're going to take the um, porter filter, um, the larger porter filter, um, and we're going to put two shots of espresso. So two shots of ground coffee, and then we're going to tamp that down. Sorry, I can't film and tamp at the same time. So then what we're going to do is we're going to tap both sides of it, tap them little ears um, and then tap that down again and that should give us a nice smooth um, ground coffee there. Pop that back in and then we're going to press the cappuccino, so the double espresso button there just right on the end. And then we should get a nice flow of um, espresso coming out and you should see a crema start to form on top of the um, espresso as well. Yeah, you can see that there, nice crema on top. And for a cappuccino, we're going with a third coffee, a third milk, and a third foam. Um, I'm making this with one hand at the moment whilst filming, so uh, let's hope that we uh, we can get this looking good. So as always, we've got the a large saucer and a black napkin. Um, we've got the amaretti biscuit down a teaspoon, and the espresso should be finished soon. You can do the espresso at the same time as foaming your milk, um, which um, it means that then you can pour it straight in. So we're just going to top this up with milk now. Sometimes the foam will come away, but we've left it a while whilst we've been talking. Um, so I'm going to have to spoon the foam in. So let's spoon the foam in on the top there. And what we're aiming for is that lovely crema um, around the outside of the cappuccino. That lovely brown ring around the outside which gives the cappuccino its name. Top of it with a bit more milk there. And obviously we're going to um, garnish it off with um, some hot chocolate powder on the top. So pop that on the plate. And a bit of hot chocolate powder. Brilliant. And there. there we go and that's how the cappuccino should be served all the time. So we're just going to have a look at the till here, um, a really close look at the till, no, um, so I'm just going to teach you how to log in, so you use a staff 6 button um, if you haven't got a personalised login, um, and we're just going to put through a Grolsch for this training session, so as you can see on there, on the screen, there's one Grolsch on the screen. And we're going to pop through a couple more drinks, so we'll go for a gin and tonic, so a shot of gin and the mixer, you can see that up there with the prices. And we're going to go with some food as well, so we're going to go with the bar snacks and using the touch screen you're going to pop a soup on there and a fish and chips. So you can see all our drinks are on there and our food's on there at the moment. So now we're going to create a tab. Um, so we're typing the number for the tab, so let's say 411, room 411. Um, so you can see that just at the bottom there where you're pressing numbers just under the total and uh, then we're going to open the tab. So press the open tab button in the bottom left hand corner and that's 
moved now from where it was underneath the total and it's created a tab at the top that says tab number 411 so that's room 411 now we're going to save this tab to print it off to allow the customer to sign on the tab to sign it back to their room so now we're going to open the tab back up again to say the customer signed it on the bottom and, and now we're going to we've got to charge that because we've left it on the till now so we've got to go back in staff six again and what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the unpaid tab. So you see the screen's gone blank there. And we're going to go to pick up tab. And there it'll list all the tabs that are on the till. So we've got one tab on the till at the moment, 411. So we're going to touch that on the screen. And that's open the tab now, which allows us to pay it off. So there's various different ways of paying it off. Um, so we can use their room charge, so they've just signed it, so we, we use a room charge. Say they wanted to pay a credit card instead, we can pay, press a credit card. Obviously if they want to pay cash, we've got all the cash buttons there, or you type in the amount for cash and then press total on there. There's also a thing on the touch screen where you can go in, visa, check, obviously we don't use checks, but um, you've got cash on there as well. And you've got the credit card button there. And so that's how we would pay off that tab. You always got to remember to go back in and pay off the tab. So now we're just going to go through some voids. So let's log in on staff six again. The screen's gone blank, which is great. So we're going to put a Grolsch on. So you can see the Grolsch on the screen. Oh no, you can't. So I'm going and you've got half a pint of Carlin. Um, so we've got a Grolsch and a half a pint of Carlin. So say I made a mistake, I didn't mean to put the half a pint of, uh, uh, of Carlin on there. So I'm going to press that on the screen and that turns red. And I'm going to press the void button. Once I've pressed that, that, anything that's red on the screen will have been voided off. So now I'm also going to void the Grolsch off um, because we, we don't want that. So say we've made a complete mistake with a till and we just want to um, log back out again. We want to cash it off. So make sure it's zero and then press cash. As long as it's zero, you press that cash button, it's not a problem. That's the end of training. Thank you.